I call uh, Brett Hudson, five minutes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It's a pleasure, a pleasure to rise in support of this bill. It's a very, very good bill. I commend uh, Mr Seymour for bringing this to the House. I commend the Select Committee for the work they did. Uh, not only is rugby our national sport, but the Rugby World Cup is the world's third largest sporting event. This bill, uh, when it gets through a third reading, which I sincerely hope it will do today, will ensure that all New Zealanders that want to watch it will have the opportunity to do so, especially those sir, who, don't, who can't afford or don't have Sky Television. And as Mr Seymour pointed out in his contribution to this reading, the overwhelming majority of people that will attend, who go to, to, to bars or go to enjoy drinks with their sporting events are responsible. They're responsible in their drinking, they're responsible in their general behaviour, they're law-abiding people. Now, on this side of the House, and those uh, voices we've heard in support of this, sir, we simply do not believe that by opening licensed establishments for a few more hours over the course of the Rugby World Cup, that generally law-abiding, well-behaved, responsible New Zealanders are suddenly going to morph into reprobates who are drunk and pouring out into the streets, causing mayhem. It's simply not going to happen. It didn't happen, Mr Speaker, when the Rugby World Cup was held in this country in 2011. It didn't happen, Mr Speaker, when the Football World Cup was on and certain bars around the country opened in the early hours of the morning so that people not from New Zealand but whose teams or original country teams were playing could enjoy those games. And, and they were immigrants. They, and what we saw, Mr Speaker, were images of people enjoying their country locked in battle with a round ball game against uh, traditional adversaries and loving it. Just hugely passionate. The sort of thing that we'd like to capture, I think, in our support of our team. And this bill is going to permit that to happen. But one thing we didn't see for that Football World Cup was people pouring out into the streets, unable to control themselves, causing mayhem. We didn't see it then. We won't see it when this bill is successfully passed today. Uh, what, um, but what I would like to say that, having sat on the Select Committee for a couple of hours uh, during the course of these deliberations and considerations, what I would like to say, Mr Speaker, is it's quite possible as the votes unfold that New Zealanders are going to reflect on the Green Party uh, and their approach to these matters and see a party that has a fundamental world view that people need protecting from themselves. They don't. The overwhelming majority of people are more than capable of making their own sound decisions and acting appropriately. They are not going to morph into, uh, into Mr Hyde simply because they are permitted to go and enjoy the uh, games in the early hours of the morning during the course of this World Cup. And I'd just actually like to um, uh, add a bit to what my colleague Christopher Bishop said earlier in this reading, sir, when he pointed out that the statistics are showing us that, particularly amongst young drinkers, the uh, frequency of drinking, the nature of binge drinking and the harm from drinking uh, in that demographic is decreasing, and that is very true. We shouldn't argue with the facts. We are entitled to our own opinion. We're not entitled to our own facts. But here's another fact, Mr Speaker. In Wellington, along Courtney Place, there used to be a triage centre because of the uh, behaviour of certain people in the wee small hours and harm and violence and, and, and uh, injury that was being caused. That station no longer exists. I can tell the members of this House it's not because of funding. The reason that centre is no longer in Courtney Place, Mr Speaker, is because it is no longer needed. Yes, this country has had issues with drinking in the past, and for a minority, a small minority, there may still exist some issues. But the evidence shows us amongst our, our youth, and in fact across society, we are improving. This bill, and what it is going to permit, which is people to enjoy the Rugby World Cup in those uh, normally unsociable hours, because it's on the other side of the world, is not suddenly going to create new problems. But what it is going to do is to enable New Zealanders to rally around their team, to enjoy them, to wish them every success, and to enjoy the occasion 
uh, and, and the camaraderie of other New Zealanders cheering their team on, shouting at the television screen, hoping it will make a difference. I commend the bill to the House. Members, this debate has concluded. So the question is that the amendments recommended by the Justice and Electoral Committee by majority be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. Um, a personal vote has been called for. Um, <coughs> members, um, I'll refer you to uh, standing orders 143. Uh, B and um, in 143.1B, a party's votes may be cast for the eyes or the nose, and a party may cast some of its votes in one of these categories and some in another category known as a split party vote. So I'm prepared to accept a split party vote. And on that basis, I'll ask the clerk to. Um, proceed with a vote on a split party vote. New Zealand National. 59 in favour. New Zealand Labour. 24 votes in favour, 4 opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. 12 votes in favour. Māori Party. 2 in favour. Act New Zealand. One vote in favour. United Future. One in favour. Any other votes? One vote in favour. One vote opposed. One vote opposed. Members, the ayes are 101, the noes are 20, the amendments are agreed to. The question now is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. A personal vote's been called for. As we said earlier, um, I'm prepared to accept a split vote and I'll ask the clerk to undertake a split vote New Zealand National. 59 in favour. New Zealand Labour. 24 in favour, 4 opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. 12 votes in favour. Māori Party. 2 in favour. Act New Zealand. 1 vote in favour. United Future. 1 in favour. Any other votes? 1 vote in favour. One vote opposed. One vote opposed. One vote in favour. Members, the ayes are 101, the noes are 20, the motion is agreed to. Sale and supply of alcohol, Rugby World Cup 2015 extended trading hours amendment bill, second reading. This bill is set down for third reading forthwith. Sale and supply of alcohol, Rugby World Cup 2015 extended trading hours amendment bill, third reading. I call David Seymour. Mr Speaker, I move that the sale and supply of alcohol Rugby World Cup 2015 Extended Trading Hours Amendment Bill be now read a third time. 
Uh, Mr Speaker, I've already spoken for 10 minutes on this bill today, so I'm going to keep my remarks fairly brief, except to say I was remiss in acknowledging uh, the very fine officials in the Justice and Electoral Committee who I think did an excellent job uh, in supporting us, and we're very grateful for them. Uh, and also to the many submitters, which I have to say were of varying quality. There were a large number of